check it out. Blueberries were on sale, so I got some. For my smoothie this morning, we have three dates. We have some ice, about a cup and a half of blueberries, and three really big bananas. Delish. So this will be my breakfast. I'm drinking all of it. It's about, um, I put it in chronometer, 689 calories and 7.4 grams of protein, um, lots and lots of vitamins, minerals, and delicious. Then I randomly decided to do a little update on my before and after pictures. This is um, 168 days, 100% raw vegan. Look what found its way into my salad bowl. I spiralized two giant, you can see how deep this bowl is. It's pretty big. I made two giant uh, yellow zucchini spirals. I used the sauce from my raw vegan version of butter chicken and the link to that video is in the description. I also added some green onions chopped sundered tomatoes and some fresh tomatoes. So I'm gonna go enjoy this and I'll be back later for a little chat. <laughs> Hi guys, look who joins us for our little chat video. She's such a sweetheart. Uh, anyways, uh, somebody had asked me a question about if there were any fruits and vegetables that I actually don't eat. And I wanted to go through a little list of some of them and reasons why. Um, the first one being eggplant. I actually don't eat any eggplant at all. I have, I never really liked it and I've read that you actually need to cook it to eat it. So, I mean, it's not something that's crucial to my diet, so, and I've never really liked it. So that one I completely avoid. Um, avocado is another one that I don't eat a lot of. I probably have maybe half an avocado, I share it with my husband about once every two weeks. So it's a quite rare thing for me to add to my diet. And I don't because it actually boosts my fat. Are you wanna go? <laughs> it actually boosts my fat percentage up a well over 10%. So I actually keep it to a very bare minimum if I can. I do feel more lethargic throughout the day if I add avocados or have too many nuts. So that one is just kept on the low and I don't eat it very often along with um, coconuts. I love coconuts but I only have them maybe once a week and again it's shared with my husband so I'm only eating half of the coconut and I try to keep those fatty fruits like that and olives too. Sorry I just had a phone call there for a second. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, olives. Uh, if I do do olives, I try to find the sun-dried olives because those are going to be the more natural ones. They're not packed in all these weird preservatives and anything like that. So those are the ones I seek out if I do decide to have some olives and I'll only have maybe five at a time just to keep them on the low. They are pretty good, but not so much in my diet. But uh, durian also... I don't eat a lot of durian. I've probably had one in my entire life. And it tastes like vanilla pudding, but it also smells like dirty socks. So I'm not too much a fan of it. I don't know if the one I had wasn't good or what have you, but I, I think that if they had fallen fresh from a tree and I was out in the fort of the jungle or whatever, I would probably enjoy it a lot more than if it was inside my kitchen thawing and stinking up my whole house. So, also because they're high in fat, I don't eat them, I don't bother. They're really, really expensive here in Canada. They're probably, I mean, I think you can spend an easy 30 or $40 on a fresh one. So I just, just not for me. <laughs> uh, raspberries, and I know this one sounds weird because a lot of people love raspberries, but I actually have never liked raspberries since I was a little girl. So I don't eat raspberries. I eat all other berries, I love them. I love Saskatoons and blueberries and strawberries and, the like, but I just don't like raspberries and never liked them. So that doesn't mean that you guys can't eat them, eat them like crazy, but I just don't like them. So I don't eat those. Uh, root vegetables. I don't eat root vegetables because they are high in starch and 
I just find them a little harder to digest and they're not as easy to prepare. I do eat uh, heirloom carrots, the rainbow carrots. I'll have those once in a while. Um, maybe if I'm going to make um, a raw vegan version of rice, I'll chop up a parsnip, but that's rare. That's like once a month, if that. Uh, rough curly kale. That's another one. I don't I don't like the green rough ones unless I massage it with some sea salt and let it sit for a little bit and get soft. Otherwise, I don't buy the green curly kale if, if I can find the black lactianto kale. I think that's how you pronounce it. The black dinosaur kale. That is my favorite kale of all time. I could eat tons of that stuff and it doesn't bother my digestion and it tastes great. It's easier to chew. It's just brilliant. I love the black kale and that's what I mostly have in my salads or romaine lettuce or something softer like that. So that is my kale of choice and I just stay away from the green curly kind. Now I used to stay away from watermelon. I used to actually not like watermelon at all and now I absolutely love watermelon and I'm excited to be able to get some once they come down in price a little bit in the summertime and make some watermelon smoothies. Uh, until then, that one's not in my diet because they're just way too expensive here. Um, celery too is another one that I couldn't stand at all. Back in my uh, old diet days, I never ever liked celery. It was felt too metally, I guess, but now I actually totally love celery and I'll eat that on occasion. Um, my apple variety has increased as well. I don't eat tons of apples, but it depends on what's in season. I'm a pretty big fan of pink ladies and rose apples. Those are pretty awesome. Granny Smith too. So I do add a lot of apples to my diet lately. Um, and then I don't eat a ton of broccoli and cabbage, but I do actually include it in my diet, uh, I do actually eat a lot more cauliflower than I do broccoli because cauliflower is so versatile and I can do anything with it. And actually, uh, we get an organic box, like a delivery for organic food once a week and we got some broccoli in there. And I don't know how many times I washed that broccoli, but there were all these little bugs inside. Don't want to gross you guys out, but I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Um, and then finally, dandelion. I never liked dandelion either, but, and I do eat dandelion. The only reason that I don't right now is because it's like $7 a bunch and it's free in the summertime. So I can't wait until I can hop on my bike and go down into the river valley where I know they don't spray and harvest me some free dandelion. So I'm gonna actually eat tons of that come the summertime and that will probably replace my kale for a little while, help out my kidneys, you know, clean me out a little bit and be free. So those are just a little list of things that I don't eat. Um, if I do think of any other ones, I'll probably make another video later. But until then guys, hope you enjoyed my video, subscribe to my channel, like if you like and you can find me on Facebook and Twitter and now I have an Instagram account as well. I'll put the link to my Instagram in the description and I'm going to be opening a Twitter. No, I have a Twitter. Uh, I'm going to be opening a Pinterest page. So I'm going to put all my pretty photography pictures because as you can see, this amazing room that I'm in, I bet you guys all wonder how awesome my bedroom is, but this isn't actually my bedroom. It's my home studio. I have a photography studio and this is my, one of the rooms in my studio, which I absolutely love. So I like to film in here. Uh, but yeah, that's just a little bit more about me and I will see you guys next time I do a video. So fruit on and see you later. Have a great dinner. Cheerio. Look who joined us the whole time, but she wasn't in the video. She just sat beside me. It was so cute. Oh. Happy that I'm a vegan, Aria? Oh, you're so good. Hi. Oh.